Hello there, this is Caroline, herbalist, naturopath and nutrition consultant, talking to you today um, about what to do with this. Now I wanted to do this today. This is wild garlic and I wanted to show you wild garlic pesto today, okay? I mean, you've seen my YouTube channel, you know that I'm all about giving you the information that you need to heal yourself. So what I have done recently is I've put a lot of this together in a book for the um, basically discovering the herbs of spring. I've got discovering the herbs of the summer, the autumn and the winter, but now we've got the spring and my book is just out, which is very exciting. So I can give the link at the bottom. So this is one of the recipes in the book. OK, this is um, basically, like I said, it's wild garlic and we're going to be making wild garlic pesto. So it's very simple. OK, but I just wanted to show you first things first. Here we are. We're going to weigh 100 grams, okay, of wild garlic. Now, it depends where you get it from. I'm very lucky that I can get it from a woods in Wales where, you know, there is, apart from the old badger, you know, there is not um, dog poo and what have you and people stomping around at all. So uh, apart from your wild animals, you know, we're not really getting a lot of uh, gunk on it. So just a simple rinse when you pick it would be perfect, okay? Then the next thing, I'll put that in a separate bowl. Okay, here we go. Voila. Hello, welcome to my kitchen. And uh, here we go. It's ready. Then, okay, in this mix, we're going to add... Now, I've got two versions here, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to make up two versions, okay? So let's see if we can measure this, because this is a bit more than 100 grams. So let's just get exactly... Yeah, that's right, and uh, this. Let's just work out, is that about correct a bit more, so less. So we've got two versions, because, you know what I mean? I realise in this day and age, you go somewhere, it's like gluten-free, vegan, pegan, paleo, uh, you know, whatever, there's anything and everything goes. So we really do need to be prepared with our foods, okay? So I've got two versions here. One will be your traditional pesto using cheese. And here we have got, this should be, yep, 50 grams of Parmesan cheese. Pop that in the mix, okay. And then here, ah, it's a secret ingredient. Now I'll tell you what, this is divine stuff, okay. This is the form. This is activated, um, basically yeast flakes. This is yeast flakes, okay. So add two, in fact, I like it a bit stronger than that. So I add three tablespoons okay of nutritional yeast all right okay and then we add our little bit of seasoning a little bit of salt I've got my Himalayan here da -da -da. Don't use so much in the cheesy because that's already salty a little bit of poivre a little bit of pepper and voila and that's it and what else we've got here is I have toasted some pine nuts, okay, and I have toasted some cashew nuts, okay, so I'm going to use cashew nuts, I'm going to put them in with our vegan mix, because I think that they're tastier in this, okay, so popping all the cashews in, there we go, alrighty, and then in our Parmesan mix, we're going to have pine nuts. All right. So here we go. There we go. Voila. Now, uh, we've added everything, putting things away as we clean up. So now we are literally just going to throw it all into a blender. Now, whatever you've got, Nutribullet works wonders. I'm lucky I have a KitchenAid, you know, whatever you have, they're a mix. I mean, people have all sorts of wonderful things. But really, whatever you have, just as long as it's a good whizzer. Now, I do find that with the wild garlic, you do have to push it down quite a bit, okay? And you do use several glugs. I wrote in the book one to two tablespoons, but I mean, I love, I love um, olive oil because we lived in Cyprus for so long. So I am tend to use, I double that myself, right? So you go with it, you know, these things is, you work at yourself what your palate can take and what works for you. So I use about four glugs. So to save the zzzz of the noise of the machine here, I thought I would have one I made earlier. Okay, so popping these back. Here's one I made earlier. Voila. 
This is actually the vegan version. It's delicious, so look at that. <gasps> look at that gorgeous, yummy gooeyness. Do you know what? Wild garlic is the number one detoxifier. We're eating it with everything. You know, say my kids like pack lunch and stuff, you know, it's like parents, you're like, oh, just give them pasta, it's just so quick. Yes, it is, but if you make it with wild garlic, wonderful, either put some yeast flakes in or put some Parmesan cheese. Do you know what? They will eat it, they love it. Or my kids are a bit odd, they'll just go down the woods and eat them anyway, but they absolutely love it. So here we are, this is magic, magic, magic stuff. Obviously, no need to add garlic as you normally would. And just take, oh, here's this one. And we'll just literally take it, and I probably could do with a spoon as well to put into my jar. All right, let's do this. And voila, it's exciting. And this will keep in the fridge for, well, several months, in fact. Okay, and there is a trick I can show you in a second to keep it lasting longer. I tend to actually put these on my pantry shelves because what I do is once I make up these jars, is I put them in my what they call my canner, which is basically my big pot of water. And they just sit in the big pot of water and they bubble away for about 20, 30 minutes. And in that way, they can, uh, it seals them, okay? Seals, seals the air out and the herb, in this case, wild garlic pesto in, and then they'll last forever. So here we go. And the trick here. Okay. Now in the book I'll give you the medicinal benefits of this plant and lots of other plants in nature right now in the springtime and about what they're good for and more most importantly how you can make something out of them and how you can use them for your own health care. Because it really is, I mean, that's what I'm all about, is giving you the information that you need to be able to help yourself and your family. And I feel it's really important that we have the right information from herbalists like myself, who with experience, and I have a lot of experience in a, growing herbs in a herb garden in Cyprus, that really, you know, for years of actually interacting and being with a plant, it gives you that, that added bit of knowledge that, you know, um, you don't just learn from a book. But uh, anyway, talking of books, please do get my book. I would really appreciate it. And uh, I will eventually make it into a Kindle master plan, um, but I'm working on my uh, not so savvy um, online presence. So here we go. Now I've just put a film of olive oil on top, right? So I'll just wipe the top. Okay. And then this film will just add, it keeps away any fungus, anything like that. It just basically is a preservative, okay? Yeah, just find my cans, my lids for my cans. So you think you should have got that prepared before with my tin. And actually, to be honest, this in its own right should be fine to keep on my shelf for a number of months. Now I have, from canning, I've got some wild garlic and some preserved bits of garlic. Let me see if I can find you here. <laughs> I think I've got some really old bits. Look, there's some preserved garlic um, flower buds. This is amazing. I mean, garlic, you can do that. You can make use the flower buds. You don't need to pesto. You don't need to make the, with the leaves. You can make with the flowers. You can make with the, the buds. You can make with the little berries. So much you can do. Wild garlic is a wonderful medicine for the immune system. It's a wonderful medicine for um, detoxification. This is the time of year to boost your immune system as we go from winter to spring. Really boost your immune system in times of change, changing seasons. The body just wants to detox. Get there first. Detoxify before you're made to detoxify. Enjoy. Brightest blessings.